Good morning, Blue Coat. This is Mr. Harris here, and I am bringing you Monday, February the 8th assembly. Um, I will start with our call to worship. So I will bless you with a future filled with hope, a future of success, not of suffering. The peace be with you. On the worship table, we present the Bible, which brings the word of God. The cross, which is the symbol of Jesus's crucifixion and God's sacrifice for all of us. And the three candles to represent the Holy Trinity, one God who is the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Love God, love others and let your light shine. I'll read the parts in black and if you could follow in with the words in blue. We welcome Father God who has given us his words. We welcome God's Son, Jesus. We welcome God's Holy Spirit. Right, children, I'm very uh, excited to present to you today um, an assembly on Children's Mel Mental Health Week. Now, uh, the more astute amongst you might realise that uh, Mental Health Week, Children's Mental Health Week, was actually last week, the 1st to the 7th of February. Um, but I believe that uh, mental health is something that we need to look at all the time, whilst this is a great way of getting us to think about it, um, how your mind is feeling and keeping it fit and healthy is really, really important. Now, um, this year, the theme of Mental Health Week is express yourself. So we're going to look into that a little bit further today. What does it mean to express yourself? So I'm just going to bring up the definition of that. So expressing yourself is showing your feelings, thoughts, ideas and personality often in creative ways. I'll just let you think about that for a moment. So if you are expressing yourself, you're showing your feelings, your thoughts and your ideas and personality often in creative ways. Now, um, I'm going to have a little challenge for you now. And I want to try and do it to some music. So what I'm going to ask you to do when the music starts, you need to think of as many ways as possible that you can express yourself. And I want you to write it on a piece of paper. So if you've got a piece of paper, that's what I want you to do. Write down as many ways that you can creatively express yourself. I'm going to have a go too. So when the music starts, that's when you go and when it stops, that's when you have to stop. I'm going to give you a minute. So let me just, which is called Express Yourself. <laughs> had a minute there. Um, I've got what I've got here. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe not so well because my background's gone strange. Um, oh, you can see there some of the ideas. Express yourself through art, drawing, painting, diagrams. You can express yourself through sports. You can see there there's some handball, basketball, tennis, athletics. Um, you can do it through writing, so um, writing poetry, writing letters, writing stories. Of course, music is a huge way you can express yourself by playing an instrument or singing, being part of a group. Um, dancing, there's, not, there's a picture of me from a few years ago, I think, from my good, good days. 
Um, loads and loads of different ways, even the ways you think you might not think of, like cooking, baking, sewing, what clothes you wear, teaching someone something new, uh, playing games, even online gaming might be something. So there's loads and loads of great ways uh, to express yourself. Um, there's also a message from somebody that I would like to share. Hi everyone, I'm Jodie Whittaker and I am delighted to be supporting this year's Children's Mental Health Week, along with BAFTA, Place to Be and Oak National Academy. Right now, we're all experiencing every kind of emotion and it is vital that we get to express those feelings. So this year's theme is perfect. Express yourself. For everything you're feeling, there's a way to express it. It could be writing, dancing, drawing, singing, decorating your bedroom wall. But it might also be something simple like wearing a particular colour to show what mood you're in. Expressing yourself allows you to get really creative. We know physical exercise is good for us, but a healthy mind needs to exercise its imagination. This week, I hope to see children, parents, carers, teachers, all of you brilliant people coming together and finding ways to express yourself. Tell each other jokes, have a dress up day, write each other a poem or a letter, whatever creative way you want to express how you are feeling. Remember, take care of yourselves, stay safe and have a very, very good week. So that was Jodie Whittaker, uh, who is Doctor Who, giving you a few tips on uh, how you could express yourself this week. I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint again. Sorry, a bit of touring and throwing today. OK, so next up, children, I want you to think about again, this is something I want to do maybe with someone in your household. So it might be a parent, might be a sibling. I want you to think of the ways that you express yourself. Um, and I want to use these sentences to support you. Um, I've given you just a few ideas there. So um, I like to express myself by singing in the shower. That's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? I remember in the last house I lived in, when we were saying goodbye to the neighbours, they said they would miss my singing in the shower. That was the first time I actually realised that they could hear me when I'm singing in the shower. Um, so I was a bit embarrassed by that. Um, another way that I like to express myself um, is by writing, particularly postcards. If I'm on holiday, I write them to family. But even during this time when we've been in a lockdown and I haven't been able to see people, see my mum, my brothers, my nieces, um, I've actually written to them. Um, I think it's a nice way for them to receive something. That's another way I try and be creative. And um, my favourite way of expressing myself is predictably sometimes when I'm cycling and there's a picture of the Lake District there. I love cycling up these tough hills. Um, strangely, um, the pain is something I quite enjoy, the hard work and everything. So pause the video now and have a few uh, seconds, few minutes discussing how you like to express yourself. OK, hopefully you've come up with some good ideas there. Now, um, another little activity for you to do, you're going to need another piece of paper. Um, I want you to draw on your piece of paper a body outline and try and draw all the feelings you might be feeling now, because expressing yourself is often about those sensations, thoughts and feelings. There's a couple of ideas I've written there on the board, being calm, uh, being content, feeling nervous, energetic. I want you to have a go at that and then I'm going to share with you what I've done. Try and be creative with this. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you can draw things on it, the way you're feeling, um, see what that is represented as in a picture. So have a go at that now. The way I was feeling, so I actually get a bit nervous when I do uh, these assemblies. So you can see I've got wobbly legs, OK? Um, I'm also actually, I've got cold feet. That's not a metaphor. I genuinely have cold feet. I always get that. Um, uh, my brain is buzzing because we're starting some new uh, reading sessions today. There's been loads going on with that. So we've been really feeling quite um, creative with that. I know a lot of the staff have been feeling that way as well. A uh, couple of tears because still at school without you here so that's upsetting um but i also feel blessed by all the hard work that's going on so i've drawn a big heart there because actually i always go back to that feeling of having a big heart um because i know how hard parents carers children teachers teaching assistants office staff everyone's working to do what we can so 
hopefully you've been able to draw a few of your feelings. If you want to share any of those, then please feel free to send them into your um, year group email address. So just a few final thoughts, really. Um, it's not just about what you do when we're thinking about our mental health, but it's really about sharing your feelings with people wherever you can, whoever you can at the moment, um, and exploring your thoughts on subjects, finding your voice. Um, sometimes what always strikes me about the blue coat children is um, how empathetic they are, how sympathetic they are, how they care about other people so much, and they have brilliant thoughts on being kind, on friendship, on things like climate change and food poverty and homelessness. Uh, and they're always thinking about other people, but remember to think about your feelings as well, especially um, as we recognise Mental Health Week. So I'm just going to finish with some reflection and prayers now. So if you just take a moment, you can close your eyes if you want, bow your head, just a moment to be calm and quiet. When we talk about our feelings, it helps us to feel better. It makes us think about our well-being and helps us consider how we are doing whilst letting others, other people know how we're doing too. Creative expression and expressing ourselves through the things we love and do are a great way of getting those feelings out there. Um, if you want some additional activities around this, you can go to childrensmentalhealthweek.org.uk uh, and the place to be uh, at the charity that run that. And there really are some fantastic activities to help you think about those things. Father God, we pray for children around the world who are affected by mental health issues. We pray no child will feel alone because of their mental health. We pray particularly for the world's most vulnerable children who face mental health issues, as well as the day to day battles with poverty. Help us to think about our own mental health and our own feelings by being creative and expressing ourselves. Amen. OK, that's it for me. Have a fantastic week, children and uh, I'll hopefully see you all soon.